15 recommended items from Daiso. Samurai Junjiro Channel Hi, I'm Samurai Junjiro, born and raised in Japan. Today, we'll be introducing Daiso. Daiso started business in 1972 and currently has more than 3,300 stores in Japan. There are approximately more than 2,000 stores outside of Japan as well. From more than 50,000 of product, we'll be covering top 15 recommended items. Then, let's get started. We have arrived at Daiso. Daiso originally handled products for 72 cents, 100 Japanese yen, but currently handles good quality items for less price. 800 of new products are introduced every month, so you'll find something fresh no matter how many times you come. We'll stick with the most reasonable products, which are sold in 79 cents, 110 Japanese yen. Let's start with this product. This is peel chestnut in a bag. So convenient that you don't have to peel the skin by yourself. This is the most popular items in the food category of Daiso. Since it doesn't use any additional flavors, you can enjoy the natural and real flavor of the chestnut. It's sweet enough without additional sweetness. No wonder this is a top seller item. Let me introduce you this next. This snack uses matcha, green tea, popular even amongst people outside of Japan. Daiso has a lot of snacks with green tea. This snack has green tea and white chocolate absorbed into puffs. Light bitterness from the green tea and the sweet white chocolate is addictive. You can't put the snack down unless you finish the whole bag. The next item is a gummy candy. Daiso sells many kinds of candies, but this item is very unique. Let's open it up. This is a gummy which imitates tuna sushi. What looks and shapes like tuna and rice are actually strawberry and yogurt flavored gummies. It really does look like sushi when placed the red gummy on top of the white ones. This is quite a catchy item for souvenirs. This will be our next item. Taiyaki, fish-shaped cake with sweet fillings inside, which is also popular outside of Japan. The size is quite small, so it's good when you crave a little bite. The cake is fluffy and moist. Sweet smell of eggs are great. The cake is filled with abundant custard-flavored cream sweet and put me in a very happy mood. This is great for people who are not very fond of sweet red bean paste. Next up is bread. This is a melon pan, a bread in a shape and taste of a melon. Surprised with the price since it has two pieces of bread in one package. Top layer of the bread is crispy like a cookie and has sugar frosted on top. Inside is fluffy and moist. The sweetness and the texture from the chocolate chips are a great change. Our following item is canned oyster. This item went viral on SNS since they are very reasonable and actually taste good. Let's open it up. Inside the can is filled with small oysters. Since it contains smoked oysters, the smell is very appetizing. Saltiness is on point and it has strong flavor. You can conveniently use this in ajillo and pasta. 
Let's move on to the next item. This is monaka, which you can make soup just by adding hot water over the top. Let's try it out. After opening up the package, you place it in a bowl and pour hot water over the top. You'd crush the thin rice wafer and mix it to finish off. It's a hearty Japanese soup with strong kick of the broth from the flying fish. Seaweed smells great. It's hearty and healing. Let's try this next. This is glutinous rice flour, which is used to make classic mochi dessert, also known as shiratama. You can make chewy mochi dessert from this rice flour. Let's try cooking. You place the flour inside a bowl, add some water and knead the dough. Once the flour becomes one in a bowl, you make small bite-sized balls. The preparation is done. You put the balls inside the boiling water for 5 minutes. When it starts to float on top, you'll cook it for additional minute. While you wait for it to cook, you prepare another bowl with water and ice. Then, you cool the cooked mochi balls inside the iced water. Once you drain the water and decorate it on a plate, it's ready to serve. Beautiful Sufir Mochi! Since there's no flavor as it is, Let's eat it together with red bean paste, which I also got from Daiso. With just two simple ingredients, authentic Japanese sweet is ready. The chewy texture of the mochi is addictive. It's more succulent and bouncy than normal mochi. The sweetness of red bean paste is right on point. Let's try cup noodles. This is a cup noodle from worldwide famous baby star ramen of Oyatsu Company. This is sold frequently and became recent big hit item. Let's try it out. You first pour hot water until the line marked within the cup. You close the lid and wait 3 minutes. Once the wait is over, you'll pour out water. When water is out of the cup, you'll add the seasonings. Let's mix it up. The prep is done once the seasoning is covered evenly. This is ramen without soup. This ramen is chicken and soy sauce flavored and tastes clean. It's so easy to prepare, but really good. The volume is very filling too. Next, I want to introduce these two items. This is furikake, a dried condiment to be sprinkled on top of cooked rice. By adding furikake, you can enjoy rice more. Let's try this furikake after preparing cooked rice. This furikake imitates flavor of the beef bowl, which is produced by Matsuya, one of the famous beef bowl chain stores in Japan. It smells spicy with seven blends of spices. You can smell that sweet beef bowl. It's almost like you are in Matsuya. The kick from red pickled ginger really put the flavor close to the actual bowl. Sesame accent the flavor more. It's well put together, no wonder it comes from Matsuya. Let's try one more furikake. This is in the flavor of eel. You really catches the distinct sweet and savory smell of the eel. There is that Japanese pepper smell as well to really imitate the authentic eel. Since it is dried condiment, you don't have the juiciness from the real eel, but the sweet flavor is close enough. There's additional seaweed flavor, so you can really dig rice without getting bored. 
here comes our next item. You can easily make classic Inari Zushi rice wrapped in sweet fried bean curd, which you eat in sushi restaurant. Let's start preparing. You'll add rice to a bowl together with some vinegar, sugar, and salt. I'll be adding some sesame for the extra texture. You then mix until the ingredients are evenly spread. That's about it. Let's open the package and place it on a plate. You'll open up the bean curd and place rice inside the bean curd pocket. Inari Zushi is ready. Prep time is short and was ready in a minute. The fried bean curd is cooked with sugar for that sweet taste. The sweet juice from Inari fills up inside my mouth. It tastes authentic enough even in this reasonable price. This is our next item. This is kamameshi, rice cooked with soy sauce and broth. Kamameshi is usually cooked in an iron pot known as kama and can be bothering, but this item is adapted so that it can be cooked in a microwave. This is all you have to do. Smell of soy sauce is appetizing. So surprised with the classic flavor of kamameshi cooked simply with microwave. It includes chicken, so the flavor is rich. The crunch of the burdock go really well together. The next on the list is ready-made packaged items. This is hashed meat, but the flavor is more like beef stew. You put the package directly in the boiling water for 7 minutes. After placing freshly cooked rice on a plate, let's pour the stew on top. And there you have it, the meal is served. It smells amazing with demi-glace sauce and tomato. The goodness of meat is dissolved into the sauce and it's so rich. It tastes fruity from tomato too. Perfect combo with rice. It's nice to be able to try restaurant-like flavor in the comfort of your home. Our last item will be this. You can make curry udon with this one item. Let's get right into cooking. You open up the package and place noodle in the boiling water. Once it's cooked for a minute, you add the seasonings. Then, you cook for another minute. Spicy curry smells good. After you place it in a bowl, it's ready. And there you have it, curry udon for 79 cents. You'll have to pay 10 times the price if you eat the menu in a restaurant. I can really taste that broth from chicken and pork. Rich and strong flavor. Noodles are chewy and taste fantastic. The quality is great and I'm surprised. Please try it out. If there's a restaurant you'd like me to introduce, let me know in the comments. Please like and subscribe to my channel too. Well, that's it for today. See you in the next video.